kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. First airplane adventure. One morning, Mommy and Daddy came in with some exciting news. We are leaving for a family vacation tomorrow. And guess what? To get there, we'll all be flying in an airplane. An, an airplane, airplane for real? real? Oh, wow. We haven't been on a real airplane before, guys. How does it work, Dad? Well, first, all of us will head to the airport. It's kind of like a house where all the airplanes live. Then they'll take all our luggage. Oh. Hey, stop! And then they'll check our tickets. One, two, three, four, but where's five? Five. Then we'll actually get on board, take off, and fly high above the clouds. Above the clouds? That's how high it goes? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next day, Mommy and Daddy and the kitty cats took a taxi to the airport. Come on! We don't want to be late for the plane or it will leave without us. Huh, really? First, we wrap up all our bags here so that nothing bad happens to any of them. It's just the big ones that need to get checked in. Pudding, no. And now we'll find out where we'll be sitting. I want to sit by the window. Well, I want one on the couch safe back at our house. Okay, now, Pudding will sit with Cookie and Candy. And this machine shows what's inside our bags. They're looking for liquid because you can't take that on board. Really? Oh. Hey, you can't take that bottle on the plane. Oh, guess I'll just have to go home then. Oh, you can just drink the water here and then get on the plane. Aww. Hurry up, or we'll be late. Good. Now come on. Not yet. I have to visit the restroom. Attention, please. This is the final boarding call for Cookie, Candy, Pudding, and their parents. All right, hurry! Wait for us! I don't want to fly above the clouds. Just leave me here and go. You don't want to go on our trip? I do, but I'm really scared to fly. <laughs> I have a really good idea. What do we normally do when we're scared of something, Pudding? We scream, help, 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 help! No, we close our eyes. And then we're not nearly as scared, right? Candy and Cookie helped Pudding get on board and find his seat with his eyes closed. Wowee! We're flying incredibly high! The clouds look really magical and fluffy. Huh? Oh, wow. This isn't scary at all. In fact, it's pretty awesome. Soon we'll be serving some nice snacks and beverages. But in the meantime, how would you like some comic books or magazines to look at? Would you look at that? I can't believe I was afraid to fly because flying is so, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Uh. Just tell me, are we in the air yet? Yes, darling. Super high. Is there anything that I can bring you? He'll be fine if he just sits with his eyes shut. Poor thing doesn't like flying. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'll be fine. Just don't let go of my paw, okay? The kitty cats ended up having a great time on the real airplane. And Brave Pudding wasn't afraid of flying anymore. <laughs> Piano practice. Candy said she wanted to learn to play the piano. <laughs> Great! Thanks! Now I can learn to play all sorts of tunes. You could play us lullabies at bedtime. <laughs> or you could play something.
something really fun for our games. <laughs> but first, Candy has to learn to play. Cupcake's mom will be giving her lessons. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, let's start with some scales. Now you give it a try. All right, now try the left paw. Wonderful! Now let's just repeat that from the top. Cookie and Pudding thought that Candy's lessons were very boring. Instead, they went to watch their favorite pirate show on TV. <laughs> Candy's lesson was one hour long. She needs to practice playing her scales every single day. <laughs> See you later. See you later. See you later. The next morning, the kittens decided to play pirates in the yard. Yo <laughs> ho! <laughs> Candy, remember you need to practice your piano scales for half an hour. I don't hear you practicing. Okay, I'll start now. <laughs> Arr, our pirate ship is setting sail toward the treasure island. <laughs> Arr, oh no, we've been attacked by a sea monster. Arr. Arr, don't let it gobble up our ship. <laughs> Arr, Arr. I'm missing the fun because I have to practice those silly scales. Hmm, I think you can help me. Can help me, can help me. <laughs> hey, hey. Sea dogs! All hands on deck! But what about your practice? Oh, that, I'm all done. Good morning. Good morning. I just stopped by to see how Candy was getting on. Well, she's been practicing for quite a while. Oh. Huh? Hey! Candy, if you don't want to learn the piano, just say so. I want to play, I do. But what's the point in playing scales? But you must play scales to train your paws. Once you've practiced enough, you can play all sorts of tunes. Just listen to this. Show. I would love to play that. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's still too hard for you to play. Well, I know how to fix that. I must practice my scales to train my paws to play. After a few more lessons, Candy gathered everyone in the kitty cat's room. really great, Candy. Practicing scales really works. Practicing scales really works. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The chance to learn a favorite tune was Candy's inspiration to play the piano and bring joy to everyone around her. The Quiet Game. One day, Mommy sat down to work on her new kids' fashion designs. a pirate ship out in the yard. To play sea adventures and stuff. That's a great idea. Uh, show it to me when you're finished building it. But we need some things like boxes, tape, and rope, and uh, lots of stuff we haven't thought of. Oh. Mommy helped the kitty cats find what they needed and helped them carry it to the garden. But she could still hear the kittens outside. We'll build it here. No, over there. And she couldn't concentrate. This pirate 
ship was my idea. But I drew what it'll look like. And I thought up how to build it, you know. Yeah, and? Kittens, why don't the three of you play the quiet game? The, the quiet, quiet game? game? Yes, the kitten who can stay silent the longest is the winner. And I'll make the winner their very own flag to put on the ship. Oh, that's great. Just be sure to put a star on my flag after I win. I want a flower on mine. A mushroom for me. Okay, now shh. The quiet game has now started. So after that, the first kitten to say anything would lose the game. The kitty cats kept working on their shipbuilding. But it turned out to be much harder without words. Pudding suggested to Cookie that they build the mast out of old skis. But Cookie thought that Pudding wanted to go skiing. And it was summertime. Cookie tried to show Pudding that it was summer. You can't ski on the grass. But then Pudding thought Cookie wanted to ski. Cookie and Pudding tried to understand what candy meant. Was she saying they could ski on the sheet instead of snow? Or did she want to play ghosts? Or maybe she wanted to make a big painting. At last it was clear. Candy was saying that the sheet would make a great sail. Only the kittens would need to ask Mommy's permission. Uh -uh. But none of them wanted to talk and lose the quiet game. <gasps> the wind almost carried the sheet into a puddle. They all knew what they should do was call Mommy. Who would be the first to talk and lose the game? <sighs> At last, my work's all finished. Mommy! <gasps> Help! <gasps> oh, Mommy! <gasps> the laundry was saved. Mommy! But it looked like all three kittens had lost the game. Okay, it's time to decide what's going to be on your flag. A flower, mushroom, or star? But didn't we all lose the game? We all broke the quiet game rules when we called you. Which means all three of us lost the game. But you all did the right thing. You went ahead and built your boat quietly. And you only talked to stop an accident from happening. So I consider all three of you winners. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The quiet game turned out to be a lot of fun for the kitty cats. And not only did Mommy make them a very special flag, but she let them use the sheet as a sail for their boat, too. Aliens! One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea! Think how excited he's going to be! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space! 
Earthling, we are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh, in peace. No way! Real aliens, awesome! Bye. I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home me. for lunch. It's we're late. Yeah, yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stuck. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please. Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Chase will know it was us all along. <sighs> we just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? <laughs> hey, Pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! <laughs> and remember when I tried volleyball? <laughs> 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 Play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Pass it to me! 
A goal. No, but I'll score a goal now. <laughs> Look at him go! your own team. Oh, no. Uh... I'm just terrible at team sports. It's better for everyone if I don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. <laughs> Oh, wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. Huh? And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. It's your turn. Well, I'm done. I am not going to play with you anymore. I'm not either. Is that right? Well, in that case, I'm not playing with you two. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it. And I'll become a great Fashion designer. <laughs> now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> Lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. Ah, and win a giant trophy. But then, the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah, 
I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. Meewow, meewow. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh, um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, Boris. Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. We'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win, as long as your friends and family are with you. Old things, new thing. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to get rid of all the things in the house that were broken. What's going on? Are we moving or something? We're huh? moving out all the things we don't need in the house. <laughs> <laughs> they're all moving to the junkyard. Oh, which is where they belong. Kittens, if there's something you don't need anymore, just add it to the pile. You'll have more room to play once your old stuff is gone. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens decided to go through the toy box. <laughs> Train engine without wheels. Guess I don't need this anymore. I don't need it either. Me neither. One for the junkyard. What about this baby rattle, guys? I don't need it. I don't need it. I would like to keep that to give to my little kitten doll. Then it stays, right? Uh, what's next? <laughs> Look what I found at the bottom. Ah. It's my old tricycle. I used to love it so much. It's way too small for any of us to ride. Uh. Another junkyard. No, wait. Not this. Uh, uh, what if I want to ride it again someday? But why? You've got a bicycle now, Pudding. Sure, but look. My bike only has two wheels, but this has three. But um, that thing isn't fast at all. Sure it is. Just watch me. Pudding decided to ride the tricycle to the playground. Pudding, it'll be winter by the time you get here riding on that thing. Hi there. Hey, hey guys. Hey, guys. Uh, what are you on, Pudding? I thought tricycles were just for little kittens. No, they're not. Clouds ride them all the time, and clouds are super awesome. But Pudding, you're not a little kitten or a clown. Why do you need to keep that tricycle? Well, uh, it's easier to balance on a tricycle. <laughs> and you can ride around at a gentle pace and look at all of nature's wonders. Ah. Uh. That's kind of true. <laughs> How's it going, kittens? Have you sorted out the things you do and don't want to keep? We kind of did. Uh, hey, where's Pudding? On his way home as fast as he can ride. He's on the tricycle he had when he was a little kitten. 
Pudding, why are you riding the old tricycle? It's for tiny kittens. You're a big boy now. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying that I need it. I just used to love riding it very much. Along paths, over puddles, everywhere. <laughs> How can I just send it to the junkyard after all that? It just seems wrong. There's nothing to worry about, darling. We were never planning to send your tricycle to the junkyard. Really? If it isn't broken, it won't get thrown away. If something is still in good shape, we'll give it to someone who can use it. That sounds wonderful. Look here. Hi, kittens. Pudding's tricycle went to his baby cousin. He'll give it a good home. Thank you, brother. And thank you, Pudding, too. <laughs> All right, thank your cousin Pudding for the tricycle. <laughs> wow, that's great. Looks like he loves riding the tricycle as much as I did back when I was a little kitten. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kittens saw that you can give away the things you've grown out of. They might be old for you, but they're new and exciting for someone else. Baby Tooth. One day during breakfast, Candy felt something strange. Oh, I think my tooth is wobbling. Good for you. Your teeth are starting to fall out, Candy. What? Mommy, am I going to lose them all? <laughs> Don't worry. You're just losing what are called baby teeth, darling. When your baby teeth fall out, different ones begin to grow in. Your permanent teeth, which last forever and ever. Cookie and I went through the same thing when we were little. Then I'll be getting a whole new tooth? Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Candy couldn't wait to show her tooth to her friends. See? Look at it! All right, loose tooth, that's awesome! I did not like it when my baby teeth were coming out one bit. I thought it made me look not so pretty. <laughs> when my teeth came out, I was really hoping I would grow crazy giant fangs in their place. Obviously, it didn't happen. But when you lose a tooth, you can put it underneath your pillow. Then the Tooth Fairy will come and take the tooth and leave a present for you. Awesome! I want a present from the Tooth Fairy. That sounds super great. Is there a way to get my tooth out faster at all? Well, you could just bite an apple. Your tooth will get stuck in it and come right out. But what if I accidentally eat my tooth, though, along with the apple? Ow! <laughs> huh? Then the Tooth Fairy won't get anything. Just tie a string to your tooth. Then you simply attach the string to the back of a car. And then when it leaves, so will your tooth. Oh! You know what? It'd be even better if you tied it to a plane. But what if the tooth is too tough and it won't come out? <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the dentist if the tooth doesn't come out on its own. I did that one time. It was a dark and spooky dentist's office. And the dentist wore a dark and spooky mask and plucked and pulled and tugged out my little bitty white baby tooth. Ooh. <laughs> there goes Smudge and his scary stories again. Dentists don't wear masks that are dark and scary. They're actually really friendly and helpful. Dentists are fine, but I still don't want to go to one. I'll just let my tooth fall out all by itself. <laughs> Wait. Okay, lunchtime. Come on then, Candy. Candy hadn't eaten anything all day, and her wobbly tooth still hadn't come out. That's that. I'm calling the dentist right now. I'm sure he'll sort this out in a hurry. Hello? I'd like to make a dentist appointment, please. I don't want to go see the dentist at all. I'm real scared. Don't worry, Candy. We'll come with you. Yeah. All right now, Candy, let's open wide. Ah. Pop! And there's our little baby tooth. <gasps> Is it done? Yep. And pretty soon you'll have a brand new grown-up tooth. But you must remember, take care of your teeth by brushing and flossing and seeing me. Thank you, sir. Now I can give my tooth to the Tooth Fairy. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha, 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 
Huh? One second. Oh. Hmm. Oh. You need to stick around a little while, Daddy. Your teeth need some work. Do you eat a lot of sweets? Uh, well, I, I, I have to for my job at the candy factory. Mm. Mm. Everyone needs to take care of their teeth. Uh, Watch the sweets. Uh, Brush and floss twice a day. And then they're sure to stay healthy and strong. Bo's Marvelous Play. One day, Bo invited the kittens and mustard to his house to watch a play he had written. I present a great spectacle, Beauty and the Marvelous Violin. Will this be a real play, like with actors and props? And scenery and everything? And music, too? It's got all those things and music, too. And guess what? I'm going to do everything, and it will be really great. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <sighs> I really hope it will be super fun because I so get super sleepy after lunch. <sighs> I'm the prince of this faraway country and I have a marvelous violin whose music always makes people happy. Now here's that cardboard sword I made. Oops. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that violin doesn't make me happy! I am the Wicked Underground King and I hate that music so much! Oh no! Underground King wants to destroy my marvelous violin! I shall hide in the woods! Oh, sorry, it's tricky handling all this stuff on my own. I could help you with all the scenery and props if you want. It'd be much easier if I did. Mm-hmm. This sure is a scary forest. My whole tail is covered in goosebumps. Oh, huh? it isn't time for this music to be played yet. This scene is supposed to feel scary. That fun music didn't feel scary. Well, I could be in charge of turning the music on and off if it would help. Mm. <laughs> the lovely damsel has been asleep for a hundred years. Ooh. But I will wake her up with my marvelous violin. I'll chop the violin in two. It will be silenced forever. No, Evil King, I will stop you. Prince, Evil King, don't argue. <laughs> You'll never beat me. We'll soon see. <laughs> uh, let's just all be friends, guys. Only if he promises not to touch my violin. No way, I hate music. Just wait for a second. I'm really confused right now. Uh, Who's the bad guy? Uh, Who's the good guy? Oh, boy. I wanted the play to be brilliant, and instead it's a disaster. I'm a terrible actor. You're a great actor, but you're playing too many parts at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I wish there were more of me. Then I could do everything myself. No, no, no. I know what we need to do. Cookie, would you play the role of the evil underground king? Oh, yes! I've always wanted a chance to try acting. Sleepy Mustard, huh? would you play the part of the Sleeping Beauty? A beauty? Yes, I can do that. <sighs> as well as sleeping, for sure. Phew.
this company of kittens put on a marvelous show. Because everything is better when you do it with friends. Hide and seek, kitties. One day, the kittens decided to have a game of hide and seek. We can hide anywhere in the house except for the basement, all right? Deal, let's do it. Who's the first seeker? Well, I don't want to be it. Me either. Uh, whew. That was a hard day. <sighs> hey, play hide and seek with us, Daddy. Do play with us, Daddy. Pretty please with hugs, Daddy. Uh, but, oh, sure, I'll play. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! One, two, three, four, five. Okay then, ready or not, here Daddy comes, kittens. Who do we have under here? <laughs> <laughs> I found candy. <laughs> And this is pudding. <laughs> Looky, it's cookie. Yay! Let's play again. Oh. <laughs> Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Grandma, hello there. Oh, my daddy's too tired to be it again. Can we swap for a little while? How about you three seek, and I'll hide. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here we come. Let's go and look behind the couch. I bet he's hiding there. Nope. Maybe he's hiding in the wardrobe. <laughs> he's not here either. She's right, he's not here. The kittens looked in every room, but they couldn't find Daddy. Well, maybe Daddy got hungry and then hid in the refrigerator. <laughs> but Daddy would freeze if he were in a fridge oh. for so long. Oh. Maybe he's in the washing machine. <gasps> Mommy's about to do laundry. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, don't turn it on. But Daddy might be hiding in there. There's no need to worry, kittens. I assure you it was completely empty when I put the laundry into it. Now what? Daddy wasn't in there either. We were playing hide and seek, but we can't find Daddy at all. Hmm. Well, maybe he's in the basement. We agreed before we started we wouldn't hide in the basement. But we forgot to tell Daddy that rule when he joined in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Guess I was having a little snooze. Poor dear. You must be exhausted after your long work day. Oh, the three of us never really thought about that. That's right. We bugged him to play with us the moment he got home. I have a really good idea. We need to let Daddy rest for a little while and only ask him to play after that. Daddy, why don't you lay on the couch and rest for a while? <laughs> I've already had a nice snooze, and now I'm ready to play hide and seek. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy's gonna be it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here comes Mommy! The kittens had the most fun hiding and seeking when everyone in the family was rested and in the mood to play. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.